Welcome back to another TS Terra Plays Terra video. Alright, and in today's video, I want to go over the Annihilation gear that you will be getting in Memmas when you first start. Post that it, I forgot to mention Darklight as well. We are leaving off where we got up to level 70. I grinded some dungeons on my off. warrior. Sometimes I just and within that, you can see inside my inventory already, I have... 72 weapon boxes and 72 armor boxes now you get this from running any dungeon when you first get to level 70 you're most likely going to be sitting in lilith's keep along with sky cruiser endeavor because that's going to also drop these materials for you along with these boxes to give more of these materials and you need these to enchant your gear so, let's start off by opening up some weapon boxes. It is a bit of a lengthy process for a few minutes, but once you get what you're looking for, it's pretty straightforward. And you're not going to get your perfect stats from these boxes, so at least not for armor for weapon there's definitely a chance and i would say strive for that chance so i'm gonna stop there and leave 25 of them we're gonna look through and see what i got so i got a two stat i got no stats i got a three stat i'm gonna pull this one down because that might be the best i have another three stat a two stat and we just keep going through until we see if we can get a four stat right there we got the four stat so that's really all you want for your weapon as you can see how it has um unidentified effect four times all dps and tanks can get that from what i understand healers are currently only locked into three now i've personally not tried to obtain Four stats on a healer weapon too much but from what i've been hearing hearing healers don't get that just yet uh if anyone in the discord community would like to prove me wrong that would be amazing please put it in the comments because i do have a friend or two that's like yeah we're not getting it we're gonna just like save our stuff for all the characters because you could farm these on any tune like I said, I farmed a bunch on my warrior, and as you can see, I opened up all of them on my reaper. So you can gear your character out pretty, at least like an alt character, pretty quickly when it comes to this system. I'm just going to scroll through and see if I got any other four stat weapons I might want to just put off to the side. It's not looking like it. Oh, yep, yeah, we do. Pull that one off for now. I do like to keep a few extra four stats in case for whatever reason I might want to make another reaper or make another warrior. You know, if a friend ever was to join and need them, they're tradable, they're bankable. So, you know, it's just a uh, nice know, little thing to keep closed. in mind when playing. So I could just you know put these over here in my bank all right and all the extra weapons you might be like well what do you do with well you, you could come uh, to any something? merchant and you could sell them for 5k each so anything that's not four stat just come and sell and honestly that's a great way to make a bunch of gold very quickly You know, just uh, gonna go through, sell all of these, hit OK. All right, so now that I sold all of those, I now want to open up my armor boxes. So I'm gonna open up you these now this gives you a combination of gloves boots and chest 
And for the most part, you want to try to get your amplifications and or your magical or physical crit power. Depending what class you play, depends on whether if you're going for, um, you know, physical crit power or magical crit power. Same thing with the amplification. So I'm going to stop right at 25 and we're going to take a look at these boots. So right now these boots only have one roll that has magical resistance. That's kind of trash. My gloves have nothing. Magical resistance on the chest. Magical amplification. So that's not terrible. We'll pull that down unless I find something better. Magical resistance, kind of bad. Magical crit power, purple is the highest you can get. I'm going to pull that down. Even though it's a one stat roll, it's the best that I currently have. And basically, you just want to keep going through. Magical amplification in HP, I guess I'll take it for now. So at least I have a set to work with. Okay, so double magical amplification and MP. That is much better than this one. So I'm just going to swap that out. Physical amplification, physical crit power, magical amplification. That is not as good as my purple magical crit power. Physical amp is not good for Reaper. If I was on like a warrior, this would be a really decent glove. It's not the best. You would want all three rolls to be physical crit power and the purple... But it, you're probably not going to see a triple perfect stat by opening these boxes. So you want to like increase something or start working with some gear. Is that better than what I currently have? Increase magical amp. I think it is slightly. Yeah. A purple roll is better. Um. Nope. It's physical, magical, nope. Magical resistance, magical amp, still not better. And basically, like I said, we go through, I'm trying to get at least, you know, most magical amplification on the chest and then magical crit power on boots and gloves. That might be better. No. No, not at all. Ooh, magical crit power, magical crit power, magical amplification. That is actually really amazing. That that's that's something I would definitely put into Kaya's gear. Which towards the end of this video we'll get into a little. I apologize for the sniffles. I have been a bit under the weather. Mm. So, going through the rest of these, they're kind of looking not that great. Hmm. Again, you could go with any rolls, but for the most part, you want to go with the standard. Uh -uh. Hey, maybe? No. Alright, and you could do the same thing with this gear. So, I could come, I could talk to this gentleman, and now I can sell all of this armor. Because I don't need it. It's not good rolls. I have better rolls currently. Go through and just make quick gold. Alright. So I sold all that. I've made like 400k just from that alone. So, now what I want to do is I still have more. I'm going to see. Maybe I can 
get something a bit better out of the next 25 boxes. Good chance I won't, I'm gonna be honest. This game, the way it works is you kinda want to, for PC with Annihilation Gear and Takayas, you kinda wanna gear yourself so you can do the harder dungeons with the best rolls you can get at the start, and then start doing the hardest dungeons to get the triple guaranteed rolls. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think the rest of this is most likely going to be trashed. But again, it's a free 5k gold for each item, so it's really not that terrible. But again, you do want to like omit to yourself if you're going to make more characters. Hey, maybe I uh, should store these boxes and open them up on another character. Because there will be a point that it's just not worth it. A purple magical amp. A purple magical amp. I mean... Nah. And I doubt these are gonna top my... Yeah. So, that's all the boxes that I stocked up to open up. I'm not gonna open any more weapon boxes because that's plain and simple. Pretty clear that, you know, those, those are good. You know, I have what I need. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to go into my inventory. I'm going to equip my chest. Once you equipped it, it's soul bound to you. That means you cannot sell it on the trade broker. You would have to liberate it and then you can resell and basic Terra stuff. Uh, if you're from Terra console, works the same. Or if you play the original PC, you know, it's, it's all pretty relatively the same. What I'm going to do is decrease skill cooldown. I want to save that. So that gives me my top roll. And then the rest of these... Let me pull this away. I want to increase magical crit hour for the next three rolls. Yeah, magical crit. Save. Change this to magical crit. Save. Change this to magical crit. Again, and this is um this is just from what I understand is good for Reaper. If anyone in the comments who has more experience playing Reaper has a better suggestion for me, I am open ears, but for the sake of this video, I'm mainly doing it to explain for new players when you get your annihilation gear, what do you want to look for? I do highly suggest do not enchant your weapon too too much until you at least get four stats even if you pick wrong stats you have ways to change them without changing the weapon so that's that's very very key is at least going for the four stats because in my opinion there's no uh no reason to you know, enchant a 2-3 stat or a 0 stat weapon up to 15 and Kaya's it when, like I said, within less than 75 boxes or 70 boxes, I got a 4 stat. If it's your first character, you might want to enchant it a little bit, but um, overall, I just, I, I think it's worth to let it, you know, let it get to like four stats. And like I said, these gloves, I would consider making them Kaya's. 
I would enchant my chest and boots a little to be able to do the harder dungeons, but I don't think I would waste my time kayazing these items because they're just not, it's not worth it in my opinion. They're not good enough. So I'm going to unequip my weapon now. I'm going to come over to forging and enchant. Now you can see, for any weapon, you want the Dark Shard Weapon Feedstock. You get this from Running Dungeons, and you get these Dark Shard Weapon Feedstock boxes from Running Dungeons. And all it takes is a bit of the Feedstock and some gold. And for the first few levels, we do have 100% chance. So, I'm just going to go through and enchant my weapon up. So, as you can see, the first five levels, 100%, we're still going. Still got 100%. This Reaper has not run any content. By the way, I've not done anything but level it to 70. This is all grind that I got from the Warrior. You do not have to feel like you have to get item XP if you're from console. This is just... Free enchants, basically, once you get enough stuff. At least all the way up to 9. And even 10 is 100%. So, that's pretty nice. I've ran out of those items, unfortunately. So, now I have to confirm and open up more of these boxes. So as you can see, I'm stocking all the way back up. I do want to open all of them up just because I know I'm going to need a bunch for the weapon. Eventually, I'm going to move off of these and I'm going to need the improved dark shard, which I'll go over how to get those as well. These boxes are also tradable, so if you're playing with friends that are fully geared and they're like, hey, I don't need boxes, you can also help your friends out by trading them, giving them away. I think you could sell them on the trade broker, but if you're new, I really wouldn't buy any of them because you, you get a pretty heavy abundance. I was just very lucky that my friend was playing for quite a while and they were very kind enough to give me a ton of boxes to get my warrior up. So again, we put the weapon back in. You can see we have plenty enough to enchant it again. And now we're level 10 out of 11. As you can see, now we need the Dark Shard Weapon Feedstock. We also need some Dark Shard Feedstock, just normal, and then the improved. It costs a little bit more gold, and we finally can start failing. Um, there is a 60% chance, and this game works a bit different than what console members you might be used to. When If you fail an item too many times, which I'm kind of hoping on video I'll capture, you have to repair it. To repair it, you'll need to dismantle certain items, which then allows you the chance to repair your weapon. And once it's repaired, you could start enchanting it again. The game is nice. It's not like other MMOs like Blessed Unleash, where the item could potentially break and be destroyed forever. No, if you break your weapon or if you break an armor, you just can't enchant it. You could still use it. It does the same amount of damage from what I understand. It's just you can't enchant it anymore till you fix it. So let's go for some enchants. Nice. We got plus one. And or plus eleven. Alright, we finally got a fail. But just cause it failed 
doesn't mean it'll break. So now I am out of the improved stuff, huh? which means I need to come here and I need to pull in some of these dark shard or Hoenn dark shard scroll thingies. I apologize, I can't really see the wordings too too well. I want to pull some of those in. And then you'll also need to get these for the armor. It's the same concept once I show you how to do it with, you know, the red ones. It works the same with blue. You get those to drop from dungeons as well. So, basically just right click this. It consumes, I believe, 10. Oh, 20. So it consumes 20. So I'm just going to make about 10 of them. Cost no gold to make them. You just need to have a bunch of dark shard weapon feedstock. Eight. Nine. And we just made 10. All right. So we go back to forge. Put the weapon back in. And as you can see, we can go back to enchanting. Haha, <laughs> that's awesome. Failure damage. So, <laughs> love it. Um, that's perfect. I love that I could show. Now you need to get peered, refined, durum, orbs. Wish I do not have any. I have refined. Those don't count. Huh. Alright, well. If you basically, don't like it, believe. I'll believe. Yes, I do have the pure ones. Alright. So, as you can see, you need to get these. Um, you could get them from dismantling your dark light gear. If you're working with annihilation gear, you got the other ones. I'm taking it. These are from. Well, okay, no, no. You can combine these ones if you have a combining possibility to make the pure ones. Or if I wanted and I needed more, I could just open up one of these. Oh, wrong. Uh, wrong button, I apologize. I'm still getting slightly used to uh, the layout. I could open up. Just, uh, one. And, as you can see, all I gotta do is take it, dismantle it, and, oh, I discarded. I'm, I'm stupid. Proud of myself. Confirm the one. Right click. No. Dismantle it. There we go. So, you want to dismantle it. And, there we go. I got some extra refined. And, I believe I got some pure as well. So, that's how you get extra resources. You're going to now... Fix the weapon. And once I repair this, it's successful. As you can see, it had the 100. I also have better chance now of getting up to 12. So, we failed. We'll get it. We'll get it, maybe. All right, we got 13. We got 14. Or, oh, that was 13. My bad. 12 by 1. Failure damage. Alright, now I come back here and I can repair it. It does have a 100% chance of repairing. So, as long as you keep having materials and gold, you're good to just keep attempting.
The game does not like me today. Oh my god. So sad. But it's okay. We have plenty of resources. I'll try to see if I can get this up to 15. No promises. We'll make another five of these. Two, three. Alright. I'm the forge. Enchant. Put it here. We enchant. <gasps> Can we get it? Oh god. It's all gone bad. It's all gone very bad. Alright. We popped it. Let's see if we can one-shot 15. Hey, we one-shot at 15. So, this is basically now a max weapon. Um, and as you can see, I now have the important um, Kaya's quest. Which, that quest is what allows you to Kaya's your gear. Now, I'm not going to actually go through that quest today. Walker I will just kind of explain, um, basically you gotta go through, you gotta talk to a bunch of people, then you gotta complete a specific dungeon. Again, I'll go over all of that in the next video, but for the most part, it's, it's fairly simple. What I do want to go over a bit more is I want to actually... Just kind of level my gloves to show exactly how the gloves are basically the same. The only difference is instead you need the blue. So I'm going to go through, get these enchanted all the way up. I don't know if I'll bring these to 15 right now. Definitely get these up to 10 just to show the difference. Okay, now I need these blue dark shards, which I do have right here. And if you need to create some, it's the exact Take same off the floor, boys. as the red ones. Just instead, you need. blue scrolls I don't know where I put them maybe I don't have any oh no they're right here yeah you need these guys so I could take these put these in here I'll just take one just to show it all right and then it's still 20 once you hit it I now have an extra one so that's how that works. I'm gonna just finish enchanting what I have left to attempt on my gloves for now. Let's see if we can get them up to 15 with the little. Not gonna happen. Alright, so that is just a basic enchanting well, your annihilation good gear. When it's closed. Um So yeah, that's it for this video. Like I said, the next time I will go over running the dungeon. I wanna get a bit more comfortable with Reaper and keyboard and mouse with Reaper. Set everything up a bit more. But 
for the next video, I will go over... <coughs> I apologize. I will go over running Grosser Mirror's Vault hard and completing the quest line and showing what it takes to get your gear to Kaya's. So, that's about it. Uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel. If this has helped any new players, that's amazing. Feel free for anyone who has any advice, go ahead and add stuff in the comments section. And if you need help with extra stuff in Terra Memos, let's say if you want to know about a class, as I'm still learning, I could say the Discord community is really, really amazing for this game. I got to give them a huge shout out. They were really super, super awesome and sweet teaching me stuff on Warrior. And I know I can right now, if I wanted to, message that Discord and learn exactly what I need for Reaper. I just haven't really had the time to do that myself. But if you are new to the game, I can say that Discord has a ton of amazing people that are just willing to help uh, constantly. They'll let you know what you need for your EP system. They'll let you know what you need for just, just about everything. So it's really, really cool. So yeah, if you got questions that aren't getting answered, especially if it's class-specific stuff, go ahead, drop down below, click the Discord link, join Terra Memo's Discord, and ask away. That's about it for now, y'all. See y'all in Aborea.